Yeah, it was definitely pretty tough. Um, didn't have too much to work with in my apartment building, um, all a thousand square feet of it. So um, just they sent me home with some bands and stuff like that. Just did some band work and, and rode the bike a little bit there. So that's all I could do. And so now that like, you are back, how do you get acclimated? I mean, the last time you went through protocol was much more short lived. So yeah. how do you make that adjustment now that it's been longer? Uh, I mean, practice was good today. I felt good and uh, just going to go from there. Yeah, today was the first day in a while. So. How, how hard is it to watch like tough games and like last two when you're not out there helping? Yeah, it's it's yeah. tough. I had to shut the TV off a couple times for sure. It was it was tough, but um, you know I'm just glad to be back. When, when you're watching on TV, is there anything you can notice from from that distance away that, that you might not if you're standing out there on the ice? <laughs> yeah, the game looks a lot easier <laughs> from up there. <laughs> yeah. I know what you guys are like now, so it's. I, I get it. I understand it, but uh, no, I just. I mean, like from just watching it, you know, you miss the game, and um, that's how I know I'm I'm not ready to retire anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> to that point, I mean, everybody says when they are forced to watch, yeah. you see so much. You do. do. Are there things you can bring back to the room, or is that not something that you really think is necessary? I don't think it's necessary. I, th I thought we played some good hockey. I really did. We had good spurts there, and it's just being more uh, more consistent play, and that's that's it. What have you enjoyed about home life now that you get a chance to get back on there again? Just the fans. The fans give us energy. You know, it's it, uh, it really does make a difference. You know, with, uh, whether it's a big hit and you know someone makes a nice play, it kind of you know you get goosebumps when you hear the fans cheering that much. Looks like you're uh, reunited with Schwartz and Everly today. Can you talk a little bit about your chemistry that you had with them earlier yeah. and what you're hoping for moving forward? Yeah, I played with them uh, beginning of camp and and uh, a couple games there at the start of the season when Yanni was out and um, you know we we've always had some good chemistry and. Um, you know, Ebbs is playing really good right now, same as Schwartzy, so I'm just excited to, uh, to compliment them and, you know, hopefully we can uh, come out with a win. You've been pretty personal for, you, for the COVID, you're playing up and down and up yep. spots. How, how easy is that for you to make those adjustments? I've, you know, I've done that my entire career. You know, I've always kind of been, uh, I know, a guy who fills in a lot and, um, you know, it's something that I pride myself on. I love doing that and, you know, whatever the team needs, I'll be there. Oh yeah, no, I uh, it hit me pretty hard um, for the first couple of days there when I when I had uh, I had some weird pos positive negative tests, so something was going on, and um, I'd probably say the the fourth day I, I got hit pretty hard, and um, I don't have any taste or smell. Um, you know, energy level is kind of up and down. If you're, you know, you don't really know what you're gonna get, but uh, you know, it's just adversity. You got to battle through it. Any idea where you got it? No idea. Absolutely no. My girlfriend doesn't have it, and we live together, so I I don't know. <laughs> 